CJ, well, I have an idea that this might be a very interesting interview <laughs> because <laughs> to my left, we've got Curtis Byrne and Danny Redmond doing their best to put you off. Yeah, well, <laughs> if you see Reno's face now, you'd be um, like, uh, it's like, <laughs> yeah, but leave it peace. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, well, uh, you know what, they're the little jigs of Jamie Mullen over there as well. Oh. But yeah, hey. as I said, we've been playing fans all the time we've been here, really, so. Yeah, it is what it is, Rev. Well, at the, start, at the start of this interview, we can focus on the fact that team spirit is important. Yeah. We're here in Kosovo, and we have to play the game, of course, this evening. But there is a, a good yeah, a good spirit in the camp. Oh, definitely, and then, you know that, that can take you that extra way if you, if anything, <laughs> you know. Uh, but um, yeah, as you said, it, it can play a massive part. You know, if you have a good team spirit, it can drive you on. Be that twelfth man and. In some cases, you know, um, and that's what you need when you come to places like this. You know, it's a massive game for them, and you know they're gonna have plenty of fans there tonight. And we may we not have many fans there. And, you know, that, that that 12th man can play a massive part tonight to get us over the line, hopefully. So yeah. Away from this evening's game and onto yourself personally, yeah. we've had one or two chats in the last oh, couple yeah, of years. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, we've had a few. And we, you know, we get on, and that's important. And I think when you ask me for an interview or whatever, I feel at ease and yeah, I think it's good that we have a, a, a good bond between us two and it's important Rev, you know, so. <laughs> it, mo it most certainly is, the players are continuing to put you off there, but yeah, you're doing quite well, CJ, in what holding them off. Do, but one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about, yeah. <laughs> Curtis is going on oh, full it. blast there in yeah. the background. One of the things I wanted to talk to you about in particular was the fact that you've recently signed a professional contract with the yeah. New Saints. That must have been a real positive for you personally as a player in the development oh, of your yeah, career. Definitely, you know, well, I've been playing football all my life and getting that chance it changes as as you go older you know it becomes more and it's your job and whatever so yeah getting that chance to sign professional terms is is crucial you know for me to progress and hopefully see what the future brings so it's a massive part for me be, being a footballer now full time so yeah it's it's massively important and yeah it's happy happy if anything you played for the academy under 19s, of course. Yeah. How did it come about that you got your contract? Who contacted you? Oh well, to be fair, I came from Kevin Druids and then came here and then did um, my college and all that. And then, luckily enough, it was a game on a Wednesday, I think it was for the college. And then Scotty and Ever must have been there and then interested. And then it came about and then obviously I made the debut and all that. And then next thing you know. We had a meeting, all four of us, me, Liam, Harry and Lewis, and uh, they said that we'll have, they wanted us to sign the contract, so it was a no-brainer for me really, but obviously you've got to take away things from, away from football, if any, like university and stuff, and, because you know, football may not always be the end product, so uni was a massive part for me as well, but you know, I've wanted to be a footballer all my life, and getting that opportunity is, is a no-brainer, so yeah. And when that opportunity comes, you have to take it. And here we are in Kosovo. Would you ever have imagined going back a few years in your your short life yeah, yeah. that one day you'd be here on a age, Champions yeah. League uh, campaign in Kosovo? Yeah, never, never would have thought it. But you know, you get that chance with TNS. You know, the well prestige in the well system. So they always they get that chance. And fortunate enough, I've come through the academy and obviously had the chance to sign first team. So. The opportunity, but with oh, take it very um, grand. Don't take it for granted, Rev. And you know, tonight will be a massive, a massive part of my football experience, our oh, life experience. For anything, Rev. Yeah. So, well, they seem to have gone behind us. Still, still it's gone there. quiet still on the still balcony. There. Yeah. It's been quite a, an informal uh, chat <laughs> yeah. here at the hotel. But I'm going to end with a, a couple of questions because before we came up from yeah. downstairs, we were talking, weren't we, with Adam Hughes, another new yeah, signing yeah. this season, and Billy Whitehouse signed yeah, last yeah. Uh, season in the just on the, the transfer window deadline day. And I said to both of them, have you got a question that you'd like me to ask CJ? And Billy, I think his was very loaded indeed, yeah, because he said, who's, the, who's your best roommate? Yeah, well, I got my best mate Lewis Dutton, he's not here unfortunately, but if uh, he was here I'd be sharing with him, but you know, it's 
and Billy, but I'm really close with Billy as well. So it's and I got to know him on a different level as sharing a room. But I got, I'm not. Lewis Dutton's my best mate, so you have to go with Lewis Dutton. But Billy, he's second. Billy's up there. But to be fair, Rev, you don't you don't need a favourite roommate. I get on with everyone here, so it doesn't really matter. But if I didn't say Lewis, I'm sure when I get back home, you then have a few words fit with me. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> Lewis, I'd say, but. Billy's up there, Billy's up there. Well, if Billy's was a loaded question, yeah, yeah. Adam's most certainly was because he wants to know who's the best looking player in the squad. Well, we call him Slab Eddie, right? so I'm not going to say Adam. But uh, I'll, go, I'll go with Billy, Billy. Because I haven't picked him for the thing, so I'm going to have to say Billy and that. But yeah, I get on with them too well, you know, Keston, Joash, Kane, so it's a good, good, good group, group of lads that I, you know, form a like, good bond with them, so happy. And that's important as well, isn't it, as we yeah. come to the end of our interview today, that you get on with each other off the pitch, yeah. and that will inevitably help you on it as well. Yeah, definitely, and you know, me being like the young person of like, or the youngest lad here, so, or the second with Ben, but me being the youngest one, it's a, it's a, not a difficult environment to come into, but it's a different environment so having the help of them like getting getting on with them well it just settles you down and you know you feel more comfortable with the group of lads so uh, to me it's i'm happy that i've got got on well with the lads so yeah that's all you can ask for really coming into this environment so cj thanks for your time thank you very much we've chatted in Banga and we've chatted in parkour and here we are today in Costco. where will it be next copenhagen hopefully